In this episode, I am making a arpeggiated sound from Flux, the wavetable synthesizer in Halion. In the background, you already hear the finished sound. So let's get started. So let's start with the Flux synthesizer from Halion. We go to the Media Bay instruments, select the Halion, select the Flux, and we're looking for the init Flux which is the initial flux uh, sound without nothing on it. So let's drag it over, make a new track. Okay, so let's look at the flux. This is the flux synthesizer, a wavetable synthesizer with two oscillators, a uh, sub-oscillators and an arpeggiator. So let's then decide which one we want to use. Go to the section of the oscillator here where you select the wavetable take any one, we take the first one, okay, and here we see the wavetable and it sounds like this. Now there is a control called position where you can select uh, where the wavetable is starting and what it is looking like. Let's hear how it sounds. So the idea now is to modulate this with the arpeggiator. I turn it back to zero here, go to the arpeggiator and turn it on. And then I have to uh, make the pattern length to 16 here. Now I have 16 steps. And this is the velocity. I don't want to change the velocity. I want to change the wavetable one position. To change this, I go to C1, controller one lane, and select here wavetable one position as the destination for the arpeggiator. And then I can here type in any form of arpeggio I want to have. See, like this, uh, randomly, doesn't matter which one I use. Then I have to choose the depth. Okay, well, let's go to uh, something, can be anything, then let's listen. Okay, I have to turn it down a bit. Okay. So let's go to a second oscillator and do the same with the second oscillator to make it more interesting. So oscillator 2 is on. We select another waveform here. Go to vowels, something like this. Okay, then we go back to the arpeggiator, select controller 2, and the destination is wavetable 2 position. Like this. And then we go to, say, 100. Let's listen. Now this is very loud. Let's turn it down a bit. Okay, I'll go back to the oscillators and turn the level down a bit. Three or both the same, about the same. And position hard left. Uh, not position, um, the panorama hard left and hard right. So we have a little spread here. But I don't like the shape of the sounds, so I go to the amp here and bring the sustain level down and adjust the decay the way I like it. To make it a little bit more full the sound, I go to the sub oscillator and bring in one of the sub-oscillators here. As a type, I use the saw wave and I have the pan right in the middle, so let's see. Okay. Okay, sounds nice. So I go back to the Halion to give it a more depth, the whole thing, and bring in some effects like reverb and echo or delay. So I go to the mix page, turn on FX1, FX2, go to the effects, so AUX effect, let's go to reverb here and uh, turn it down a bit and find some room, a small room to make it a little bit fuller. And then also use the delay.
I use some triplets here. I turn back the feedback a little bit so it's not too long. Let's go here. Let's listen. Okay. Now let's put in some chords so we hear it in a musical phrase. Go here. We take a minor chord first. Let's go to A minor. Then uh, let's go to a major chord, C major, D minor, E minor. Okay, let's take this, drop this. this and have a little inversion here. Okay, let's listen to this. The sound itself is still a little static, so let's go back here. Let's go to the sound. And what we can do now is we can modulate the filter a little bit. The filter is totally on, so let's change the filter a bit. Like this. Now go to the modulation section and we select as the source the LFO and route it to the destination of the filter cutoff frequency. That's like here. Okay, a bit of depth here. Okay, let's listen to that. Okay, let's bring in some other modulation. Let's take the LFOB and uh, modulate what we have here, the decay, decay time. Decay time. Let's see how this sounds. Here in this section I put in a very very long um, cycle of the LFO so that uh, the modulation is not as prominent, it's very slow and very slow changing. Let's listen to this. Okay, so that's the sound. Hope it was inspiring for you. Hit like and subscribe or leave a comment. Um, I think this is one of the most underrated plugins in Cubase. You can do a lot with the wavetable synthesizer. Uh, that's for now. This is Harold from Hidden Room Studio. Hope you had fun. See you next time.